Hi, now in this example we're told that this figure then shows part of the curve C with parametric equations x equals 1 minus a half t and y equals 2 to the power t minus 1. And the curve crosses the y-axis at the point A and crosses the x-axis at the point B. And what we've got to do is show that A has coordinates 0, 3 and we've also got to find the x-coordinate of the point B. So if you'd like to do this and haven't done so already, give you a moment just to pause the video, come back and as usual I'll run through the work solution. Now for part A, we know that at A the x-coordinate is equal to 0. And if we substitute this in here, we can work out what t is and then go on to get the corresponding y-coordinate. So when we put x equals 0, we've got 1 minus a half t equals 0. And if we add half t to both sides, we therefore have half t equals 1. And if we now multiply both sides by 2, you end up with t equaling 2. Now all we've got to do is say that when t equals 2 we can find out what y is. When t equals 2 therefore we have y equals 2 to the power t, 2 to the power 2 in other words then minus 1. So we've got 4 take away 1 which is 3. So therefore our coordinates for a are 0, 3 as we had to show. Now for part b, we've got to find the x-coordinate of the point b. So we do this when y is 0. So at b, we know that y equals 0. So therefore, we've got 2 to the power t minus 1 equals 0. And if we have 1 to both sides, we therefore have 2 to the power t equals 1. And this is an obvious answer because anything to the power 0 gives us 1, so therefore t must be equal to 0. And we now can say that when t equals 0, we can work out what x is. So therefore x simply equals 1. So therefore the coordinates of b are going to be 1, 0. Alright.